So you're thinking about buying an RV carport, but you're worried about high winds and how you're gonna protect your huge investment from just blowing over, folding down like a hoss of cards? Well, stick around. I'm gonna show you what we did. like to do is have it nice and smooth we do get water that does come through here so that's why you'll see we have it crowned in the center it's going to fit nice the sides are going to be even so I really don't have to level the RV this way but it will allow the water to go through those channels right here and keep it away from the RV which that has been proven so you're thinking or you have bought the bullet and going to buy yourself an RV carport, but you want to keep it safe. Again, let me show you what we've done. So you have an RV carport, as you can see, ours goes over and we have just but two slats left for the bottom. I did that for ventilation. Also, this is in a horse pasture. <coughs> so, excuse me. So our horses do, do come through here. This RV carport is 40 foot long, 20 foot wide, and 18 foot tall. So as you can imagine, the wind really catches a hold of this. And when we first bought it, being that we've already been through two hurricanes before we put this up, we wanted to make sure that the wind wouldn't just blow it over. Yes. They do put anchors. They do put anchors when they install them. But these are small little anchors. And actually, after the first hurricane, it was very obvious that those anchors wouldn't have held it. And I will show you why. It was obvious it was going up and down. These bolts here, these they're just nails. These nails were sticking up this high after the first hurricane that it went through all of them and the anchors we had to literally just punch them back down we couldn't unscrew them they were all just well we just couldn't unscrew them or screw them back in this is from the last one you can see where it's hanging up you can see where it was pushed up on the anchors it's done it there it's done it there 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 there, there, and even the anchors were coming up. There, there. It's a scary thought, but again, those are just nails. That, that's not gonna do anything. The only thing it may do is stop it from going in and out just a little bit. I mean, the, the, they're not huge nails. They are big nails, but not that big. <laughs> All right, let me show you what we've done.
what we did was you can see the wires that we did I believe these are 3 8 wires they are galvanized and we hooked them up as you can see right up there to eye hooks and we've made it that you can tighten them down now if you look at these wires how loose they are before we left here you couldn't move them more than this and look at that they're connected to the eye hooks up there all of these so we know the wind was coming from that way coming down and just pushing on this just like it did the first time as a matter of fact the the last not this hurricane but the last hurricane those eye eye hooks up there three of them they are closed like this but three of them were bent up like that so we know it worked that last time and the time before we went to mobile home depot and purchased screw-in anchors now these anchors over here on the corners as you can see it is caddy cornered on the ends that end that end all four ends and that's going to stop it from folding this way also it helps it from folding inwards but again we did that so it will do double duty stop it from pushing in or lifting it up we were so confident in it that we just doubled it up last time but look how loose these are look how loose these are again these were tight now the anchors that we bought on the ends were four foot anchors with the big screws and these are all three foot anchors with the big screws in them now i may have done overkill the three footers we put four on each side and the four footers we put on the ends on all ends and that has worked miracles and as you can see we do have the bolts that are make it easy for us to tighten down every time you just loosen them up here and then pull on pull on your loose end here and it'll tighten right back down which is something we're gonna have to do here in the next few days now my final thoughts on this is I know that those wires have saved our RV carport now did we need that many I don't know but it's sure obvious that all of them got bent and I'd rather be safe than sorry it may not be the right way to do it but this way has worked for us Rose and by the way this is my wife Rose hi what do you think of it oh most definitely put new ones on it for this last hurricane. Yeah. The end ones. Now I know earlier I made it sound like I said we, but it was actually Rose that said no, we need to put new ones on the ends. All four ends. And again, thank God she said that because it did work. It pulled it. Pulled it pretty hard. Well I've heard of them collapsing. They just fold. So the way it's constructed it keeps pressure on the sides so I on mean, both sides it's made it through several hurricanes this one's made it's it through done. two hurricanes we've made it through four yeah. and this has been here for two of them and again it's a big expense it's not something that we want to sit there and put money out and drain our account just to get another RV carport yes yeah. insurance will take care of it but after you pay your deductible and everything else you just might as well put a new one in and i don't think we would have put in one this fancy with it going all the way down the sides and we love it because again if you live here in the florida sun you know that the heat is so hot out here that it'll melt practically anything and you want to keep your rv investment as long as you can without having to replace roofs or anything else it does help rose and i hope that this helps you guys a little bit or a lot it all depends on if you want to do something like that or if you have the room for it but we honestly believe that it worked for us yeah it's well worth it well worth it i hope this helps you guys out and gives you ideas on how to do it and as usual we'll see you next time